So, um, I'd let you, I'd let you choose between these two spots. Come here. Know me. You're gonna trick him into wanting nummies. Oh, does he know yeah, he that? Yeah, them, yeah. Really? Yeah. Does he know what they do? Um, he does. He doesn't know the difference between nummies and treat, but he does know the difference between not pushing it. I think I want that chair. No, 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 no. This one is... You offered you... Here and here. What? Yeah. Why would I be over here? In case you're afraid of, afraid of what I'm gonna do to you. Alright, I'll do here. Brilliant. He's the best boy. Oh, You're the best boy. I have a little uh, girl dog that that uh, she would love this guy. All oh, right, see you later. Well, um, I'll talk about something else then. Well, like what the fact that I came to New Jersey, and uh, the only way you'll hang out with me is if we record it. Um, well, that is out. correct. Do you hang out with people that you're not monetizing? I mean, yeah, like sometimes I Tell me about hang it. out with people, we don't record it, and then we, hey, 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 this guy, I think that dogs think their toys are like, are, we all would want them to be involved. Oh. So talked about when you hang out with people, but it's, um, it's not something that you monetize, would you? Yeah, like you get together and... Retro. Retro. Oh, this is a good beat. Do you own, can you play this music? Does it uh, demonetize you? Do you own this? Yeah, well, I would think you would care. Cause, really? Well, yeah. This beat is Tell pretty cool. Uh, thanks for the water. It looks really nice. Uh, I asked you once, maybe asked you twice, but then you brought the water and then you took it away. I said, what this is going to be a going? good day. But you, you didn't rhyme. You didn't rhyme. Uh, uh. This uh, music on some kind of free music thing. Ooh, thanks for the ice. Uh, I gotta say, that was pretty nice, cause the other water was way too warm. Uh, ooh, there's a bee swarm of fun about to happen. Look at this dog, she's getting snapping. He's not even listening. No, you're not. You don't care. Uh, look at this dog, looking so cool. Uh, He's gonna make all the dog ladies drool. Ha! <laughs> this coffee is taking too long. Uh, luckily, I got the biggest schlong. I said, cheap. He's not even in the room. He's not even in the room. I came all the way to Jersey City. I tell you, traffic was shitty, but. I don't care hanging out with Rick. Is that his name? The guy's kind of a dick, but he brought me water and put some ice in. I guess he is my friend. What's your dog's name again? Wiggy. Wiggy. So far, huh? Right. <laughs> Are you washed out? Uh, 
is there any way to turn this music off? Ooh. Did you write that? I'm sorry. Uh, John Michael, at this moment, I just changed the ISO. Let's mark that for coloring. Thanks, buddy boy. Wow, that was the nerdiest sentence I've ever heard. Well, you've ever, obviously never heard this sentence. Excuse me, could I please borrow your spectacles so I could, I could do my physics experiment? Oh my god, that was crazy nerdy. Right, Loopsy? How do you feel about the angle, the way you're facing? And is that sun, I that sun's in your eyes. I guess. Yeah. Um, you want to switch over, over there? Yep. Yep. John Michael, mark this moment. Um, Kyle is changing seats. No, there's new headphones for you. We got new headphones and a new microphone. I got a ghost of. <laughs> this episode is sponsored by Magic Mind. You want a little less stress? You want a little more energy? You want to have a sharper mind? Go to magicmind.com slash Tyso and use code Tyso20 for, ten, tw for tw 20% off. Jeez, I need one of these. That's magicmind.com slash Tyso, code Tyso20 for 20% off. Gulp, 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 gulp. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Ah, oh, God. I, I, I always mean to get BetterHelp. And make I, your brain... <laughs> uh, make your brain your friend. Yes. Uh, with BetterHelp. Uh, um, visit BetterHelp.com slash Tyso for 10% off your first month. Uh, yes. Uh, that's uh, BetterHelp. H-E-L... Uh, he slash Tyso. Uh, H-E-L-P dot com slash Tyso. Ah. They get it. This episode is sponsored by The Freeze Pipe. American owned for over seven years and affordably priced. Shop the smoothest pipes, bubblers, bongs, and more at thefreezepipe.com and use code Tyso for 10% off your entire order. That's thefreezepipe.com, code Tyso for 10% off your entire order. Am I in frame? Uh, I am. Are we all? We are. Yeah, we're good. What is the um? What's the the focus today? Do we have like a theme or something? Something I should know about. Uh, yeah. Um. Civil engineering. I I love that. I wanted to be an architect. I think when I was younger, I was very into uh, watching our deck being made. Uh, but then mother pushed me into theater. Oh, mother. When you say mother like that, it sounds like... Uh, mother uh, says... It's, it, yeah, well, it's, it sounds like how um, what a grandpa would refer to his wife as in front of his kids. Yes. I can't hear you at all. Oh, man. That means the entire oh, time I've go. been talking in this, it hasn't been working. Well, this is a shocker. Once again. Hello? That's good. You can see the Statue of Liberty from here. This is a great little view. Oh, yeah. What the problem is, though, is are things walkable here? I feel like you can't walk to anything here. Gulp, gulp, gulp. Well, look on the bright side. Oh. This is a, uh, I don't know. First of all, I don't know if that's a man's shirt, and I don't. I don't want to start off negative. Go ahead, tell me, tell me, tell me. The I don't think that's a man. I think you found. I think that's a woman's shirt. Why? Because it's pink. It fits me yeah. great. It's Disney. It fits you great. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. You know what? I want to start off. I want to be positive today because I feel like last time we got into a little Is bit that of a your fight. Blood type? I have no idea. Do you know yours? Oh, I thought you were oh, trying to yours be positive. Is o. Hey, we both did jokes that we both missed. I didn't. You didn't. What? what well, was I miss mine? it now that we're done with it. What it was mine? That yeah, you were saying that that's my blood type. But then I then I said be positive. No, but then I said be positive. No, then I said oh. I said oh. No, I said and then I went oh. That's yours. Go back to see who said oh first. I have no idea. Do you know yours? Oh, I thought you were oh, trying to yours be positive. Is o. I don't think it even, I don't, I don't think you should go back. It's too late. We went back. <laughs> and I was Listen, right. I, let, or let's start. And you were right. Let's start here. Yeah, this is the start. This, all this, buddy, much like your ice, was just a cold open, baby. Theme music. Wow. Scoot doo. That was really impressive. Who's your baby? Um, all right. What do we get? Because we want to do. Trump. 
What a total disaster. You know, I, I do that. I do Trump hands now just as a Cause habit. Because you, you do so, so much? Get, yeah, I, I kind of, I don't think I have any personality. I just take other people's things and then I make like one Like when thing. you took my O joke. Gulp, 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 gulp. We didn't get into a fight last time. Yeah, we got, it got contentious and real. Let's cut to a shot, a sure. clip from when we were fighting. Well, we're going to need to show once I found out that the angles weren't right, uh, we will have a heartbeat come in. We'll have kind of the audio in the background fade out. Anyway. Do you really think that? Honestly, I don't remember. <laughs> um, but I was upset with, with, with the, the way the production went and it didn't, it didn't. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I was upset that that we didn't have the cameras for the first half, and then this back half we didn't have my camera. Now drama in in, in conflict is good for absolutely. Uh, so do you do you go into that more? Oh, or? I think you're talking about the narratives. No, 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 no. I don't. No. I don't like the so. I don't like real. Um, what's it called? Uh, reality television podcasting. Mm-hmm. No, no, I don't. I was genuinely upset, but I also one thing that I do want with this podcast is sincerity and surely showing up. The, the beginning when I first started this podcast, I was looking at stuff, maybe I want to take that out or I don't want to air this episode. And then what I re, uh, the f- one time that I, that I almost didn't put it out was Adam Ray 2.0, now one of my favorite episodes. But I was really embarrassed. I, I felt I, like regressed back to just being so s- too silly and loud and too many jokes and stuff that at that time I had been working on a few years to try and pull back from. Okay. And then um, my friend and who helped me produce back then, George Krikus, and I were talking. He said it was a great episode. Blah, blah, blah. Long story short, what I decided was this is going to be one, two, sometimes more hours of whatever today is. Mm-hmm. And this that was a version of me, a real version of me, which was really disappointed that I spent so much money and we were doing bits and couldn't do I even knew then that people at home aren't going to care, but I did. This is like why I do. You you get it. It seemed like mm-hmm. you got it then, and now you're throwing it in my face like I was being mean to you. Mm-hmm. I also thought uh, I, I I I explained myself, but yeah, it, I don't think that people who don't already watch this podcast would like enjoy that as a first episode of just like just go on with the show. Mm. But I wanted to uh, talk about it. So you were embarrassed at first, but now you realize that people people like that you're exposing okay i was embarrassed of that one particular episode i don't know if people like it i just know that the only way this is sustainable to do every week is to not try and control uh right how how i come across Mm -hmm. because everything's going to be different day to day person to person yeah i don't have a podcast because of that i think i don't feel like uh i I maybe feel like i want to have more control over it but i actually i would like to start one again because i used to have one years ago and but i need someone there who uh, you know, I connect with and um, maybe it's like a, uh, yeah, like, like a, someone who, who's going to show black guy. up. Yeah, black guy. Just get a black guy. Someone's going to show up. You know what I mean? Oh. Like I can't do a all the guy. work. Oh, <laughs> all right. Cut that out. <laughs> all right. Now, here we go. All right. You can't do all the work? I got to just show up. I, I'm do. I, right. I'm just, it's, it's I, a I lot. can do some of it, but I, Every time I do something, it's like I'm doing everything and I can't do you that. You go to the studio that I went to if you just, you know, it's not necessarily going to, they're not going to necessarily do a good job, but. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But I got I to gotta find like someone to do a podcast. Someone but that's, that's the thing. Like, when you find somebody else, it might not be good enough. If you are the way that you say you are and that I see you as you are, you're going to need to be in control of it. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little bit. You are. You're not going to be happy if, you know. They deep fake you as Biden when it's supposed to be Trump. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I don't know. Go, go, Listen, go. what are we talking about today? Let's, let's get serious. Yeah, let's get into it. Well, you want to get serious? Yeah, I don't want to have any. There's no more comedy. Something funny. Let's stop with comedy. <laughs> That's a good. That let's let's stop with comedy. Is good merch. Mm, enough. Mm-hmm. You know. Are you? When are you your most serious? Doesn't have to be the most. Let me rephrase. Can we time where you're typically serious? Ooh, when am I serious? I mean, when I'm alone, mm. I'm I'm pretty serious. Do you masturbate serious? No. How do you Very masturbate? Very silly. 
Clown nose? No. <laughs> oh, you're um, joking. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Cut back. This could be one of our fights. We cut to. You That's know, a fight. Uh, I still do a lot of times bits and sketches in between we would do fights and we would do dragon ball z fireballs and all this stuff but like i got a dog on my lap a coffee in my hand a good friend who i don't know that well across the way and let me tell you something i want to just hear how he masturbates gulp, 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 gulp. i mean i came to Jer- i came all the way to jersey city today i want people to know that you yeah know. you said it a whole bunch yeah how long was the drive 40 minutes it was probably it was probably like a half hour yeah like a $50 Uber. Yeah. I mean, if you were in, if you were in studio city going over into Hollywood, it would be the same. Mm. That's the thing. Mm, what maybe. Did, you, did you just eat something tasty? Mm-hmm. Sounds good. And the dog treats. All right, let's get um, serious. Serious. How do you masturbate and why? Why? Why do you masturbate? First of all, I way? don't. I don't. Really? No. Is that a Christian thing? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're a Christian Schlater fan? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you remember that? That uh, I don't remember the teen beat or whatever thing is where he talks about how he doesn't masturbate. He waits to blast in women because or men because uh, it so he doesn't get desensitized. Well, honestly, when I'm dating somebody, I I don't I, I cut that off because of of that. It, it keeps you. Say this, Trump. What a total disaster! You've got to hold out because then you get a uh, you know. It, 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 it keeps a relationship uh, better, I think. I find that uh, little small um, acts of service does that. And then I just constantly masturbate. Okay. As long as you're doing something. Take her to the airport, pick up yeah. a dry cleaning, jerk what, off. What are your love languages? So have you gotten into that? Yes. Uh, I, I don't speak it fluently, but Israeli is one of them. Uh, I haven't. Rick, what no are your jokes. love languages? This is not going to be a, this, I want this episode to be your least funny episode. Buddy. That's the goal. Buddy, today. when it, when we say Kyle Gunnigan 2.0, people are going to say. No laughs. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> Just nothing. Do you go over your love languages? Have you figured them out? I I have an idea. What are they, if you don't mind? Um, the way I receive them and the way I give them aren't necessarily the same. Have you noticed this? Yep. You hear about this? Yep. You hear about this? Yeah. Um, the way I receive them is uh, quality time and touch. Okay. And how do you give them? Um, dry cleaning and airport. Rick. Okay, uh, acts of service. Yes, acts of service. Um, and? And uh, words and touch. That's Okay. And that did your girlfriend tell you I, these are mine and then you listened or did you just naturally do that? No, no. That, that, that's that's typically like like when I... I'm feeling a certain way. Like I, I even on this podcast many times say my eyes are watering because when I give a sincere compliment, sometimes I, I cry because I feel so connected to the person. So like, that's just the way I am. Like saying something, how much I appreciate something or how valuable I find something or how funny or how good or how wonderful, whatever the, the p- positive thing is, um, mm-hmm. like you, like your blood type. I, uh, I get really like, I get filled with oxytocin. Yes. Okay. Um, but depending on what the other person wants, you have to learn how to do those things. Yeah. Because that seems like still your love language. That's how I give. But that seems like you're getting, you're, you're getting an emotional pl- uh, pleasure, for lack of a better word, by yeah. by saying, where, so, but what's, what's like your girl, does your girlfriend she do is not. She's she, not aware. We've had many conversations you don't know her love language. She doesn't know her love languages. Oh, she doesn't. Yeah, and we've tried talk about different things. Really? Though. Yeah. Are you being serious? Yeah. She's not aware of them. <laughs> I, don't, I, I think she's just not telling you because we've had this, we've had this conversation. I think, I think you're aware of like what makes you feel good. No, okay. It's not about what makes you feel good. It's how do you what makes you feel loved and connected and to put it in a category also to be fair she isn't here this i don't believe this is a secret by any means but we have our hypotheses and uh not something i feel comfortable speaking of oh, if she's not here it that's i'll respect that she doesn't want to well, i'm not speaking for her that she doesn't want i i 
I don't know. I've she never asked. I, she might not want you to talk about her love languages. On well, less about the love language and more about like, well, here's my thoughts on and her thoughts on the like the 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 history of of things. Not that there's anything negative whatsoever. I just my instincts are. Well, if she's not here, and it involves her psychology and her history, then I, don't, I, I just don't like talking about it. You could also say you just you don't you don't know. I did. Yeah, yeah I did. Go back, go back and show that when I said that. <laughs> I don't know, Rick. Yes, I will never ask you that again. So if you ever want to tell me, you have to say, you have to bring it up. I, I, I uh, had a conversation with my girlfriend and we, we figured out what her love languages might be. Oh, you're ready already? That's what I would say to you. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't even know what my ex-girlfriend's love languages were. I'd never checked in. I know my other ones. I never checked in. I so, I could, I could. Oh, geez, oh wait, to... should we call Jackie Doan again? Sure, yeah, we'll find out her love language. <laughs> wait, wait, but... she should actually say what ours are too, because sure. if she doesn't know mine or yours, that would be very rude. I just, though, I, I want to make sure we mark, I want to fix and post that sound because I just heard so many people watching this as eyes rolling because they do not, some people do like, oh, just talk about the funny. And it's like, listen, if you want to be funny, don't check out my podcast, at least not with Kyle Dunnigan. Oh, this is going to be the least funny my, had, my goal is this is just going to be... You don't have it in you. There's You have something special about you where there's going to at least be... No. It's kind of funny. I, think, I don't think you heard the first five minutes. We can do this. Kyle Dunnigan. It's kind of funny. Mm. Oh, she baby. All right, let's let's call Jack. I, I think she, she doesn't mind this. No. Oh, her love her. language is, 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 uh, is oh, promoting her. <laughs> 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 Jackie's love language is putting up her Instagram <laughs> handle. <laughs> No, we have fun. Well, I haven't yeah, had her on in a while. I really do. I would love to do it with the three of us. I mean, like the three of us would be good. We'd actually, we should have a separate podcast. That's the three of us. Just, I we, mean, if should, she, we, should we call it um, Rick, Kyle, and Jackie? Or Rick, Jackie, and Kyle? We should go alphabetical or Kyle, Jackie, Rick. Okay. But we do uh, and Rick, like they do in, in movies when they credit like a big celebrity. Oh, maybe. Excuse me. Oh, uh, Jack, how embarrassing uh, if you just hello. farted because we are on the podcast with Kyle Dunnigan again. Oh, we're on the pod with Kyle Dunnigan again. Do we have three boyfriends on one podcast right now? We have three boyfriends on one podcast. Oh, my God. What up, What's baby up, boy? Joe? How's it going? We well we we're doing this podcast so far it's like been pretty boring. No, but people are gonna like, like it. We're gonna put in some fun edits, some zoom in, spiced <laughs> up a bit. Um, we're and talk- then, and go, go ahead. ahead. No, no, no. You go ahead. Kyle's been working I'm on letting women speak, sure but I have not been working the- on that. I'll go. So I'm sitting here with oh, the doggy. <laughs> go ahead, Jackie. Sorry, sorry, go ahead, Jackie. Sorry. I was just gonna make sure all the cameras are on. <laughs> Always. I Rick won't hang out with me unless there's cameras on. That's a separate conversation that I'll have right now as long as we can monetize it. But the point is, um, we uh, yeah, we didn't give you a heads up, but we were just talking about because uh, when I asked Kyle to come back Wait, on. you didn't let her talk. I she said, was, I said, I'm I'm trying to speak over women. Yeah, but, but I know. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead, Jackie. Come on. Sorry. I wasn't saying anything. Go yeah, on. I read it right. See, Kyle, you're wrong. Ooh, I read that I right. I was wrong, I guess. I thought you were about to say something. Right. No, I wanted to make sure that the, the Jackie knows the the the, um, the inspiration for this. So Kyle came back on the pod and said, uh, we were actually, we even said it just now before calling, we got it, we should do a podcast with the three of us. And we got it, we were trying to figure out what, what the order of the names would be. Jackie, what do you think the order would be? Oh, like a pod, just like me, Kyle, and Ricky on shoes off, or it would be a first. separate pod with the first. three of us. If we did a separate pod with the three of us, and it was called, oh. it was it's it's called. There's the name Kyle, the name Jackie, the name Rick. What would be the Rick order? Rick said you would oh. want your name first. I did not. You did. No, I did not. Oh, I said I want well, my name first. <laughs> of course, Ricky would want his name first, but. I would, you know, what's interesting about this? I would think everyone involved here would want their name first, except Kyle. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. Uh, I don't even want to be Kyle in show business. Shit. But I, I, I did suggest is. I would be last if my if we could do and. So if it was like Jackie, Kyle, and Rick, 
Here's a curveball. That was the one that honestly rolls off the tongue. Wait, what the about most? Joe? <laughs> Joe and friends. Joe, Joe and friends. <laughs> Wait a minute. Joe and friends. <laughs> when you said you were going to do a podcast with the three of us, I genuinely thought it was going to be me and the two of you guys. <laughs> to be honest with you, Jackie, with all due that respect, that does make more it sense. Is better. Yeah, but does. Jackie, you could come in all the time. You'll play yeah. the producer. It's but called you just the bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cute. Could, could I wear a blazer? Yeah, just you come in with Kugel every now and then. And it he just said called, I come in with Kugel. Just, just, just I would those. come in with Kugel. Oh, no. Jackie and wants to know if she could wear a blazer. I'd rather you didn't wear a we blazer. We kind of don't but... want that because then we have to dress up. No, I think if I'm coming in as the manager, I'm in a blazer with Kugel. Manager. Oh, if you're manager. Here's a, here's a curveball. This isn't even why we called you. Rick got it wrong. We, I get excited. She we, answers. There's fun. There's energy. She says, I hope the cameras are on, which is an obvious joke because it's like in most situations, it'd be like putting them on the spot. But Jackie's a fucking star. Jackie's always ready to go. Listen, we called you because we were talking about love languages. And Kyle said he doesn't know any anybody he's ever dated. He doesn't know, know any of their love I languages. I never asked. And then we were wondering what if you knew what me and Rick's were, and if you know what Joe's are, if you could say what they all are. Well, mine is my name first. Jackie already knows that. <laughs> <laughs> my love language is my name first. Or last with an answer. Do you, do you know Joe's love language? Um, you know, we never, we never like did the quiz. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I'm having, will, will you list them for me? Like, are, do you happen to be looking well, yeah, for them? Let me really quick for the people at home too. If you want to take the quiz, head on over to helixsleep.com slash Tyso. Take that two minute sleep quiz to get 20% off your mattress and two free pillows. Kyle, Jesus take it Christ, from here. He's bringing up these fucking pillows. <laughs> Go to kylodunnigan.com. No. So, uh, here's a, here are the, here are the things. Acts of service. Like, I love when a woman makes me a sandwich, even though that sounds sexist. I, I, I just I yeah, love it. I love that for sure. Like someone just, I, I was working one time and, and she brought me like an iced tea. And that was like, it was like a lot. Yeah. So that's one of mine. And then there's physical touch. I think it's kind of everybody. Is like when you hand for, somebody a sandwich or a tea and your fingers graze. Right. Right. And then there's, what else is there? There's, there's uh, words, like compliments, words. like saying, I made you this great sandwich because you're so great. Yeah, you're you're uh, beautiful, whatever. And then there's... Um, gift giving. Gift here, giving. Here is a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about a sandwich. There's, then there's one more. What? what? Quality time. Quality, Quality time. time. Yeah. Thank you, Joe. Yeah, that's okay. one of mine. That's not one of mine at all. Yeah, well, obviously, if you watch this podcast, Jesus I Christ. Came here, I came to Jersey... City, Jackie, to see this this guy. All right. Yeah, you're in, you're in Jersey City. Okay. Let, so let her answer. Okay. Oh, well, I oh, think I'm talking too much. <laughs> 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 uh, go ahead, Jackie. <laughs> Rick, Joe, and Kyle featuring Jackie. Well, it's so good. I don't even need to be featured. I love just being the three of you. This is so. Oh, your love language is being featured, Jackie. Don't pretend. This is, yeah, he said is, your this... love language would be being uh, being. Uh, Do you guys? This retweeted. is just so healthy. The way I, that we're all. I remember when Kyle. Oh, I don't know if I could say this. You can edit it well, when out. Kyle but, got it, got 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 his his penis enlarged, but it failed. Yes. Uh, um, edit that out or Kyle, fill it in with something funnier. You can talk about when it. Kyle dated Sarah after we dated, it yeah. felt similar to this in that it just didn't feel like, oh, that's your ex or that's your current girlfriend. Like she made it so warm and delicious. Who that Sarah it made like, it warm and delicious? Yes. She yeah. just was like so sweet every time she saw me. She wanted to get went out of her way to get to know me. And I feel that that's kind of what joe is doing and it's like it's very hot to me that like you guys call and you're both these funny fucking amazing dudes and my boyfriend's in the car just like cackling and, laughing yeah loving he's it, a miserable along. nothing <laughs> yeah right he, he's crying he's crying um he slammed the door wow uh, but it's just like it's really i just wanted to say i just feel this is really nice i like all doing oh, this okay nice. you're yeah, yeah you guys when you guys texted me the other day when you were uh when you were both at my favorite restaurant and saying that you guys wanted to hang out with me I, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I, this isn't the first time that we've been friends. We've all been friends with each other for, I, I think, years at this point. Yes. But it's still, it was still this like, there was an appreciation of like, this is great. This is fucking this great. Is great. This is, and it's how you want it. It's so interesting because you look at past relationships. Like, my ex didn't let me hang out with Ricky. Mm. And it was like, 
what is happening? But then you like, as the person in the relationship, you kind of go with that instead of being like, wait a minute, this is insane. I don't want to be in something that feels like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyway, Joe's love language is definitely quality time. Mm-hmm. I find that hard to believe that everybody doesn't at least, and I know that's the case, but it doesn't have to be your main love language, but doesn't, that's like the big one. I feel maybe that's because I just love it yeah. so much. I don't get that. Yeah. Maybe there's something wrong with me because it does seem like that should be the number one thing, but I, I don't need to spend, I think I've been a loner for so many years. I don't need that much time with the person to like feel love for them and feel like, Oh, I've connected. I could be away from them for a while. You know what it one? is? Oh, go ahead. The, well, the quality time thing for me is like, for some people, they can have like a quick lunch with someone or a quick, Sandwich. like someone squeezes them in with like a coffee or something, but I don't feel loved if that's the case. I need it to feel like you really made time for me, you know? What you're Long. saying is you don't want like a 60 minute podcast. You want a two hour podcast. No, no, no joke. That's like very comforting to me and I feel safe. Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Um, but I'm similar, but what's really interesting about that is like, if I can say, babe, you're like, we, Joe and I have this thing in common, which I think all everyone on this call has in common is that we're all very comfortable, maybe too comfortable being alone. Oh, for sure. Yeah. And in a relationship mm-hmm. that manifests, well, I don't know, like Joe and I sort of had to learn, I mean, we're living together now, but we sort of had to like hard launch bitches. We sort of had to like, learn to be like oh wait right we're like in each other's spaces we're in each other's shit because we've both lived alone forever yeah and the Been pandemic alone. made it even made me even more of a loner no, don't, don't talk about the pandemic guys. youtube's gonna flag us <laughs> oh yeah you're right <laughs> really but i mean that's a great point like joe was so i mean i was in a relationship during the pandemic but only kind of and i mean i was but it wasn't it, it, it there it didn't feel warm so like there was someone else there, but we were kind of just keeping each other company. Um, but with, yeah, it's interesting. Like I think everyone on this call is so fucking fiercely independent mm-hmm. that it's interesting that, but the quality time of it all is just fascinating. But I think for me, it's access. Sure. Well, I was in the kitchen That's the other nice. day and like I cut my finger doing something, the dishes or something. And Joe yeah, came in and like, how you cut your finger? Well, it was actually a longer story. I was shutting a cabinet because I realized that what I was, I looked in the pantry and 90% of it, as you both know, was expired. But I was like, Mm. you don't have to throw it out because (laughs) what's flour going to go bad from 2001? It's flour. Am I right? Pasta, Mm -hmm. it's dry goods. I'm Googling, I'm looking. And in the midst of all this Mishikas, I shut my finger in the thing. And so this is why I said I just cut it now. All of that said, Joe comes running and he's like, are you okay? Put it under water. Immediately starts doing the dishes. I immediately start crying. Why? Because she's, because being, she's was, being helped. I'm being taken care of. Oh. And I'm such a, I'm such a, um, I can be hard and I don't mean to be. Like if that happens, I'm like, it's fine, leave it. But it's like, what I really mean is like, oh, can I have a hug? And can you put this underwater? And can you take care of what I'm, what I was doing? Right. But I, I was so used to doing everything by myself that when someone just swoops in and does it, it immediately like hits me and like, I'm a child and I'm being taken care of and I cry. Okay. That's good to know. Okay. And so acts of service is like a huge one where Kyle, to your point, if I'm somewhere and Joe is just like, drop me off and I hundred percent, I'm at a hundred, I'm crying. Yeah. It's just so delicious to be thought of. Yeah. Um, so gifts, I, I, I wouldn't be possible for me to care less about gifts. Me too. Yeah. Gifts, no. You, you know what's rich? interesting? We might not care about gifts, but there's nothing more important than the present. Oh, oh my God. We'll right I'm back. trying to do like a, I'm trying to serious this guy out. <laughs> yeah, they're good. No, they're good, right? Yeah. The matcha tea. Thank you to our sponsor, Magic Mind. You now in England, you're a, a, a bit of a coffee drinker, a tea drinker. No, neither. What do you do to get energized? Because you work on this podcast in the basement until like five a.m. Mm-hmm. So what do you do? Go to a clip. You say a quick chocolate. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you cut to a clip? I don't know. I had a thought of like an animated. I don't know. Okay. Well, here let's cut to an animated you. <laughs> Well, usually I'll just have a quick chocolate. (laughs) Yes, and we're back. (laughs) 
So Magic Mind is, is for people who are looking for some extra clean energy. They're looking to have a sharper mind. This is just vitamins. I mean, it's just vitamins. Most of it is organic. Uh, it's for elevated mental clarity. So this is America's fastest growing energy drink. Tom, I know you're not an American boy, so I don't know what that means to you, but they do ship internationally in over 50 countries. I want to understand how you boys feel about it, but I'm going to tell you what I feel. Took this thing maybe 15 minutes ago, and I feel awake. I don't feel like I had coffee. I don't feel big energy, but I do feel more energy. I feel more patient. It's weird. I think sometimes like if I'm sitting still, I'm like, I have to get stuff done. But now I'm sitting still. I'm okay with sitting still. And I feel like I want to have a conversation with you. Yeah. It's weird to call it an energy shot because that's how it's branded. And it is, I guess it's energy because I, I have it. But like, I just feel, I feel calm. That's probably the nootropics. The nootropics I think is for focus. Yeah. I really feel calm and energized more. I kind of want to take these before a podcast. Yeah. Sorry, Dave. You know, Forbes calls it Silicon Valley's new morning elixir. Would you say that this elixir has also given you a little bit more confidence, Tom? Because the way you just took that microphone from David cries morning elixir. Yes. Dave, remind uh, our listeners where they could go to to pick this up. Well, uh, the best place to get it is magicmind.com slash Tyso. Using code Tyso20 for 20% off their order. That's right. That's magicmind.com slash Tyso and use code Tyso20. Tyso20. Shall we, boys? So the freeze pipe is our sponsor and the freeze pipe is also the main pipe that we use when we are dabbling on the podcast. If you're tired of those harsh... <coughs> types of feelings when you're smoking, this definitely will mellow it out. Every freeze pipe comes with a freeze pipe glycerin chamber that actually cools the smoke down by 300 degrees. We'll put up the pictures here. There's hand pipes, Bubbler Pro, Bong XL, Mini Dab Rig. These things are also, by the way, I mean, you could see, but they're just beautiful. They're, they're cool pieces that you could keep out. They also make great gifts. Don't believe me? Why don't we ask the greatest gift giver of them all, old Saint Nick, Santa? I'll tell you this much. Get the Funyuns ready and the fun dip outside because I'm coming in hot with a couple of hands looking for snacks. American owned for over seven years and affordably priced. Shop the smoothest pipes, bubblers, bongs, and more at thefreezepipe.com. Use code TYSO for 10% off your entire order. That's thefreezepipe.com. Code TYSO for 10% off your entire order. Yes, this episode's brought to you by... Uh, Better help. Uh, but uh, enough of me. Let's go to Nikki Glazer. Yes. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. Nikki, do you have any experience in therapy? Hell yeah, so much. <laughs> yeah. Many, many, 18 years. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, that's Hi. What? What is it that you like about therapy? Um, people always say, oh, just, you know, I can I talk to my friends about it, my family, but your friends and family aren't qualified and it's just someone that, that you don't have to ask back, like, how are you doing? It's 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 like getting a massage, you know, like where you don't have to massage the person back. What it's I like is you could take a break from your thoughts with better help. Did you ever think of it that way? Mm -mm. Make your brain uh, your friend. Yes. Mm -hmm. with, with what? Um, Better help. All you have to do is visit betterhelp.com slash Tyso for 10% off your first yes. month. That's BetterHelp. Dinosaurs. <laughs> no, no, H E L P. H E L P uh, slash dot com. Dot com. <laughs> yes, dot com. Slash. Slash Tyso. Yes. But I think. I want to think about what it is for you guys. I definitely think it's quality time for Ricky. Yeah, quality time. And I don't think it's gifts. No. I think it was acts of service for Kyle. Definitely, I don't remember yeah. what the other ones are. I like I like uh, showing with acts of service. Yes. Like uh, making, so, making Kyle a sandwich, for example. Mm. Yeah. I don't think either of you... Like, I'm physical touch. Like, I, I'm trying to think. Are you physical touch, man? Only kind of. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I think Jerking it's him off probably. Right <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, his dick is out. I but was going to say it would be funny. If Jackie's not the like, only one who's like, hard. You guys, it's definitely physical touch. Oh. Our relationship was solely just carnal, physical, and um, yeah. But I, with Joe, it's it's more kind of like words of affirmation. <laughs> I feel like Jackie's uh, love language would, would be stoop sales. Would be one of them. Oh, I Stoop sales is definitely like, a Is that when you sell the, the easement in front of a brownstone? Or just like a rack of clothes she can go through is her love language. Mm. 
my love language is absolutely hand me down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I I wonder what do you guys think yours are? Mine's just service and uh, and touch. Jackie, I think it. yours are. Uh, I think one of yours or a big one would be words of affirmation. Was what? I feel like you really connect with words of affirmation. Like when people give you sincere, like when you're noticed and seen and, and, and appreciated and it's yep. spoken to you. I feel like that's probably your big one. That's by the a way, huge one. I think you're fantastic. Thanks. I, I think that's a tr Wait, 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 wait. Tr Lost you. Hello? Oh, hi. Can you hear me? Yeah. Like words of affirmation. Um... I mean, I guess being quality seen, time. Being seen. Yes, it's huge for me. And like be, being told, you know, like. Yes. Um, I don't know if that's one for me. And I think the reason it's not is because I don't know if I would believe it. I only believe what I think of me and what my mom thinks of me. And if somebody says something that I agree with, I believe it. <laughs> and I already think it. And if they say something I don't agree with, I think, nah. That's profound. I, but I also. If I feel like shit and someone's like, you look beautiful. I'm like, what are you fucking lip that's, servicing? That's oh, I don't. Saying. I feel like yeah, yeah. shit. Exactly. Yeah. So I think that's, I think that's absolutely true. Oh, I love this. I kind of want to go do yeah. the quiz again because I haven't done it in years. And I wonder if the last time I was doing it, I was like doing the answers I thought I should do. I can't remember. Let's all, let's all four of us do the quiz and text me the results so I could put them up here. Okay. Um, I love that. And then also, you guys should try. Do you ever guys do the thirty-seven love questions? Do you guys ever do that? That's what you oh, yeah, take before you uh, apply at the Cheesecake Factory. I think. <laughs> That's a long Kyle, test. will you will you find that and text it to me yeah, so we can do it? It's pretty intense. Like at one point, you is have it, to. Is stare. it only meant for for Native Americans? I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get more the, jokes I, done. This he's trying to make this a funny podcast. Yeah, Kyle said he wants no jokes. So I'm just to be the least. So I'm funny, overcompensating and he's, here. He's trying to like get me back. But it's like one of them is like staring each other's eyes for a full minute. It's a it's a really someone scientifically went for like how to fall in love with somebody. How to fall in love? Native Americans again? Jackie, Joe. I know. I know. I get, I know. I I'm teleport? trying not to. Back I'm trying not to laugh and respond to Ricky so you could get through it. I'm trying so hard. I'm just, Am I trying, to be, okay? I'm just trying to teach Ricky how to. Native American? <laughs> Don't encourage him. No one encouraged him. Listen, I, it was the rule of threes. I didn't mean for it to work on <laughs> you. You know, that's and called a lot of C. Oh. I can't. Oh. <laughs> Your Listen, scientific love language anyway. is great. I study comedy. And let me tell you something about structure. I'm right. Yeah, there's nothing better than <laughs> analyzed comedy. Have a, you seen Analyze This? Uh, yes. It, I put that as a top 10 comedy of all time. It's pretty. Now listen, I have to go to the restroom, so I have to Just leave. They should do 37 questions. I don't want anybody talking about me. Oh, that's good. Joe said that we should do 37 questions together, you and me. Yeah. Just the bros. Just yeah, the bros. Why not? Do you really have to go to the bathroom? Because we could cut to a commercial here. Let's do that. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we have to go. Yeah, all four of us have to go to the bathroom. Bye. We love you. I <laughs> love you guys. Hey, anything you want to plug? Um, she can't. If we're, we're oh yeah, we're striking. There's actually a bunch of things. What? Just oh. just so you guys know, cut it out. Oh no. Wait, we can't. Can plug I say things? You can, do, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Is that is that a thing? We can't plug things. No, like I can't talk about this. Like. Here, here Netflix move like I can't say these things I'm in. You can. Well, by no, the time no, this no, comes no. out, maybe it'll be done. So send me the stuff and we could put it up. But also, who gives a shit? What about JackieTone.com? You pushing that? No, man? I mean no. just my Instagram at Jackie Tone. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. You just did it. At you the beginning it. of this call, I said uh, when we were talking about what your love language is, is I said Jackie's love language is putting up her Instagram handle. <laughs> <laughs> I said that wasn't funny. I, t I said that's well, not funny, again, Rick. Kyle's I don't wrong. think that's... All that's right. Well, we'll thing. be right back after the bathroom. And uh, 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 Kyle Joe, or not Kyle Joe. Oh, I guess Kyle Joe and Jackie. Kyle Joe. Um, see you guys uh, See you at the Chinese restaurant. Uh, bye -bye. I can't wait. I love you guys Bye. so much. Bye. Love to all. Bye-bye. We'll be right back. If you're looking for just the right flooring, you need choices. And at Marshall Carpet One, you'll certainly find them. Uh, I do not do Botox. Although, to be fair, I tried it once in my jaw for TM my TMJ disorder. Uh, I didn't put that much in and it didn't really work for me. Um, although I did find a guy 
and a, a, a custom retainer and he did some PT on my jaw that worked really well. But I have never done Botox like uh, cosmetically, but uh, not against it. Fillers? Never did filler. Against it? No, not at all. Uh, I, I do think that when men get it done, it could be a little bit more obvious. Uh, excuse me. I am truly not against any, as long as it's done safe, uh, any cosmetic surgery. Like if somebody is insecure about something, I'm very for them trying to figure it out. Okay. What? You're trying to figure it out. Well, uh, what's going on? Is it? I mean, fillers for what? For what? I think, I, could, I think if I put fillers in, you would you would say I look fantastic. I think that's all missing. Well, why? I have an idea. You know what? Why don't I actually? We'll be right back. Uh, come back in. Let's let's go get you fillers, and then we'll come back. Okay. okay. Four hours. Four hours, totally done. Well, how, does, how, do you, how do you think it looks? If I never met you, I wouldn't be able to tell. I, okay. um, having known you before, it it does look significantly different, but I think you look really, really good. Yeah, be honest. It does look different. Yeah. What do you think of these? That, I mean, same. If I didn't know you, that would be something I would think looked great. They fall, right? Yeah, they look... They look natural. I think that's what you're going for. Two thousand dollars. I don't know if you can. <laughs> um, Who's your baby? I feel bad. That dog got so mad at me for moonwalking. Maybe that's weird. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, don't come in yet. Don't come in. Yet. But he's scared of the walk. <laughs> um, was that a moonwalk? It was like the opposite. I was going forward with it, but right. I was I did a forward slide. Um, I am really good at. Uh, Lots of different dances with my hands, but moonwalk is one of them. Yeah. Isn't that good? Mm hmm Yeah, it's very good. See, he didn't get mad at yours. No, he wants to kiss. Uh, getting back to, I think we have a theme starting to happen here about like being alone. Sandwiches. Relationships, uh, love languages. I don't know if I'm lying to myself, but I think, uh, I think I shouldn't really be in a relationship. Um, what makes you uh, feel that way? I just feel very um, comfortable alone. Mm -hmm. Same. And I don't feel like like someone. I really want someone in my house all the time. I have a. Um, I have a. Uh, something I've talked about in relationships before. Okay, go ahead. Now, of course, money is an issue here. Um, if you can't have two houses next to each other with a basement that connects them. Yes. And in that basement, there's a common room and that is a game room. Yes. Then you have your own, what I want, I want to have, I want to, I want, I want a family. I want to be married. I want kids. And I want to have two I want my wife to have her own bedroom yes. and for me to have my own bedroom. Yes. But that doesn't mean we always sleep separate. Right. Possibly we rarely sleep separate. But just knowing I have my own space, she has her own space. And whenever we sleep together, it's literally a sleepover. You come sleep over in my place. I'll come sleep at your place. This Here's my theory. This, what you're saying, is what everybody wants. Now, we started off, we didn't have you know many things. You had to build your hut. You had to do one hut and you had to be in a thing. And then we just evolved we kept going like oh yeah one house thing everyone together but if you had the option i don't think everyone wants this comment below would you if you had the, give the option everyone wants this what you're doing is called projection without rick? statistics rick do you want a sandwich <laughs> you want a sandwich in our own room we could have our own room you and me just one room it could be ours yeah see but then you have to leave. But go ahead. Everyone stuff. wants this. If they, okay, they may not say it. Say it Trump. Trump hands. What a total disaster. They may not say it, but if you gave them, okay, for a month, you can, you live together in this house and you sleep in the same room. But for a month, you could go to this place where you have your own wing and your wife has her own wing and you have your common area and you can just sleep over as whenever you want. And, and, great. 
after a month, I think you'd go, I don't want to go back to the thing where we were crammed and, and she had to use the bathroom. And well, there's we... a difference between sharing a space and sharing a crammed space, first of all. You know, that's why you have his and her or his and his or her and her or they and he. And yes, he yes, and yes, 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 but, uh, but, 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 uh, that's moving towards these separate it's wings. It's superpower, man. That's so cool. What? The voices. The gold bloom. It's oh, just like. Bloom. Can you put a gold bloom when I did that? Can you put gold bloom on my face? No. Yes, you can. I mean, we're not gonna. Why? It's, that's, it's a lot. I don't think it is. Okay. You can get, um, Brian. Brian Monarch will do it probably for free. For that one little part? Yeah. It'll be worth it. It's a viral video. All right. We'll do it if you could do a great Brian Monarch not? and and he'll put his face on you doing it. Uh, yeah, Kyle. I could do that for you. No problem. See? Just send over the tape. I'll make it Jeff Goldblum. Okay. We'll see. Clip it. Let's see. Let's see. Which is a, similar to a Lotsi, the rule of threes. But what I'm saying is, if you have your own space that's still big, you each have your own closet, you have, there's a big bathroom, a lot of people won't care. But you're, you're okay, but you're moving towards what I'm saying, which is that's what people want but what if I you think, the option. But, but it's not just about the space. It's not just about it being enough space for both. It's about having your own space. Exactly. Which is yes, different yes. than having a big enough space for the two of you. Right. For example, if you had a 3,000 square foot home, with one bed, like where you shared a bedroom or a 2,000 square foot home, but you each had your own bedroom, mm. a smaller home, but your own space, one could argue pros and cons to both. I like the idea of having my own space, doing my own thing. And then when my wife sleeps over, we're in Rick's room. And when I sleep over, we're in her room. Because mm -hmm. it also feels different. Like when you're dating and you go to somebody's place and you're at their place, it's like, oh, it's their place. This is kind of fun. It feels like a vacation. Yeah. And when they're at your place, it's like, oh, this is cool. They're they're vacationing at my place. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Also, the logistics of not being on the same work schedule. I get home very late. Exactly. She's already asleep. Plus, if she wakes up early, it's going to wake me up. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So With, without it also being like, oh, you're going to go sleep in the guest room. Things are you getting problems. You're in the doghouse. Right. It's terrific. Are you in the doghouse? That's so good. <laughs> That's so good, dude. Oh, what's your first thing that you always say is Trump? What a total disaster. What a total look, disaster. Look, look, look. These, these pig, look at these total losers. Could you do that as a kid? Not Trump necessarily, but did you? What a total disaster. <laughs> is that a kid Trump? A uh, kid Trump. I'm saying, did you as a kid know how to do voices? I actually, the first thing that I got sort of attention from was doing impressions. I was a young, young kid. What impressions did you do? What this was first, the 60s? I thought my surgery made me look younger, but I guess not. Um, no, it was the, uh, eighties. Yeah. Early eighties, early, late seventies. So what did you do? Like, um, like, like, uh, Goonies stuff. First I did teachers, you know, and then I did Michael Jackson and this girl who I really liked. She was very popular. She was a year older. She liked my Michael Jackson impression and she'd have me do that. And this was a early eighties, Michael Jackson, like 83 peak MJ. Can I hear? And could you That's sing? That's terrible. Could you sing? Yeah. Because people who can do impressions are usually You're good singers. Not alone. Simone. <laughs> but were you doing Simone? You're you're you're, oh. you're doing like a Michael Jackson <laughs> soundboard. Oh. Where people Simone. Are <laughs> <laughs> oh. Simone. Simone. <laughs> Simone. <laughs> yeah, so uh Can I hear you saying you were not alone? You were not alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! You know he growled he last hates time. Michael Jackson. I think he likes Michael Jackson and hates what you're doing it's, to it. It's sacrilege. Do you know right now Michael Jackson is Thriller? Did you ever think of that? I have. I thought of it first. That's my bit. What a total desert! Hey, do me a favor. Take when he says that Michael Jackson is Thriller. Did you ever think about that? Keep my I have, and then just we'll go, cut out everything after that, and then back to him, and we're gonna Thriller. We're going to Michael Jackson thriller animate him um, and then just do. Or you can just cut to Michael Jackson's corpse. We want to do you. Okay. Um, but will you, will you uh, 
do Michael Jackson as Thriller for a minute? Tee-hee! Oh! Shimone! <laughs> okay. Hee-hee! Hee-hee! It's going to be midnight. Da-da-da. Anyway, so that, tell me more about tell me more about you not anyway, wanting a relationship. That got that got me that yeah. And then I did stand up for the first time in, in high school. I did uh, impressions there, but well, then I stopped doing impressions because it wasn't cool. I came to New York and I got such bad advice. I mean, it's why like I I, I think I am just starting to do things I should have been doing years. We talked ago. about this last time. I felt like shamed. Like my one manager, he had um, Tim Allen and Drew Carey. So it's like oh. here's here's how you do it. You you talk about your family. You have a hook, and then you get a sitcom, and you get rich. And uh, I had a guitar. He's like, don't do the guitar. And like everything I did that was unique, he was like, no, no, mm-hmm. just be vanilla. Oh, what a bore. No, no, no. I I'm interested. Ooh, bully. But like Ooh. you you were. Uh, you were you took the advice. Yeah, they go don't, enough. With, don't do the guitar. And my managers, yeah, like, don't do the guitar. Don't do impressions. That's not cool. You got to talk about your family. Get a sitcom. That was the way to go. How long has it been since you decided you're going to do it? Uh, as Frank Sinatra would say, um, uh, Sammy, New where York, you at? New York. <laughs> Same joke. Oh, okay. Sammy, where you at? Is that Frank Sinatra? Yeah. Oh, he's just yelling at Sam, Sammy Joe Jr. Okay. People only quote the big ones. Like Maya Angelou used to say, are you guys hungry? By the way, I think she's a piece of shit. Maya Angelou. I think she's the most overrated. Mm-hmm. Pe- I saw her treating this young girl so oh, badly. Did you clip, ever see that video? One clip where That's she wanted to be referred need, to as Mrs. Angelou. Would you ever do that again? Would you ever do that to a child? Kim, you had a question. Yeah, I wanted to ask Maya her views on interracial relationships. Oh, thank you. And first, I'm Miss Angelo. Miss Angelo. Yes, ma'am. I'm not Maya. I'm 62 years old. (laughs) I have lived so long and tried so hard that a young woman like you or any other has no, you have no license to come up to me and call me by my first name. Excuse me. That's first. That's first. Also, because at the same time, I am your mother, I'm your auntie, I'm your teacher, I'm your professor. You see? Um, you have to understand that she was she was coming from a hardened place of, of teaching discipline. I'm not saying she was right or wrong. What I'm saying is her intention wasn't to humiliate even if that happened and it was on public television and she was doing what she needed to do. You'll never remember what somebody says anyway, just how they made you feel. I am saying she did something wrong and it was cruel and it was arrogant of her and it made me like really look at her poems. But you know, so Rick, th- Rick, it made me really look at her poems. And okay. You know what? They're not that good. Did you know that she was a sex worker? Yes. There's a really famous song by Harry Mack about it. Swipe. Do a rap about Maya Angelou being a prostitute. I just hope you understand the truth. Understand the truth. Of course, I'm talking about Maya Angelou. Angelou. Yeah. Swipe it. <laughs> <laughs> Back to me. And then swipe. Lips uh, on me. And then Jeff Goldblum, swipe it, and we're back. Um, when we had you as Thriller, uh, as, yeah. a, as a corpse zombie, um, we did give you the really big lips, though. Okay. So it's a yin and a yang. Uh, so you want to get Botox and filler? Oh, yeah. Why I'm haven't looking, you? I just want to wait till it's, like, shocking. You know what I mean? Like, when I, I get it, everyone's just like, you look so amazing. You know what I mean? The when lips, will that be? Maybe like five years, like a full makeover, just top to bottom. How much are you willing to spend on it? Whatever it takes. Top to bottom, the whole thing. Plugs, take all the harvest, this whole back. And where are you going to put it? Right in the front, right across. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, look it. I'm telling you, (laughs) I want the shock factor of this guy. Don't you think you'd get that now? A little bit, but in five years. What about in 10? Maybe 10. You know what you're making me think of? I wanted to get a MacBook Pro when I was in college. Yes. And I kept checking Mac rumors. And the new one comes out in August. I'm going to wait. You never got one. But then it came out in October. And then the next one comes out in March. Yeah. I kept waiting. I kept waiting. I kept waiting. Finally, yeah. I got one. Yeah. And and I remember, I, why didn't I just, it's always, it's always going to be different context later on. And I've decided, I wanted a new iPhone a few months ago. The new one came out in September. It's now out. But I wanted a new one because I didn't want to delete stuff. I wanted more storage. I had had it since 2017 or whenever the fuck, 2020. And I'm like, I'm going to get it. You okay? Yeah. 
I have one of those like caught burps. You know, when you, they you hear. It's just caught. Bang your chest and, and move like a cow. Yeah, is there something to do about that? Yeah, you ever see those things where it's like, uh, hold your breath, hold your breath for uh, 10 seconds and push out without the air leaving. Uh, Breathe back in twice and again through. Hold, hold, slap your chest and move like a cow. Uh, <laughs> that did feel better. Boy, this dog is like, who's the weirdo on the couch? Um, something else that makes me think of that. Uh, I read this in a, my mom has has these books in the in the guest bathroom when I was a kid, just like a thousand facts or things to think about. Hey, no, I really go off on my mind in a, in a way. I think that's being alone a lot. Is yeah. I drift off into a thought in the middle of someone talking to me. I'm okay. sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. Your mom would have books in the bathroom. I was also. I'm listening. talking to the audience through you, so it's fine. Yeah. And one of them was uh, was uh, uh, always don't save a gift certificate and always burn a candle. And what does that, I'll tell you what that means to me. Will you tell me what that means to you? Yeah. Those are separate things, I think. Okay, what does it mean to you? Because I. What it means to me know. is you have this thing and you're saving it for the right time. Okay. But it's not meant for the right time. It's just meant to enjoy. Light the candle. Eat the, uh, uh, drink the wine if you are. I mean, if you're saving for a special occasion, I guess there's, you know, there's, there's a, a there's like a, I get how some things you would save sometimes, but like do the thing. I have a counter argument to that. Okay. And it's called the two marshmallow um, experiment. Have you heard about this? Is it about kids wanting something now versus later? Yes. I haven't. It's probably, it's probably the greatest uh, psychological test that, that we've done. You get a marshmallow now or two marshmallows in an hour. tell a kid, here's a marshmallow. You, you, can show, have, you show the marshmallow. You bring it. You have a mar. You put it in front of you. Go, you can have this marshmallow right now. Or you could wait a little bit and you can have two marshmallows. And the kids that waited for the two marshmallows just did better in life on, in every area. And the kids were like, that now... The that now mentality, you know, if you if you prolong pleasure in general, you have a better thing waiting for you. Yeah, but yes, well, yes, 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 <laughs> yes, uh, uh, but uh, the marshmallow, uh, delicious, nutritious, yes, yes, uh, but, uh, but, 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 if you wait, you get two. Uh, oh, wow. Great. Mm. So what you're talking about is the difference between enjoying something now and the investment mentality. There is something too holding out to make something better. For example, not masturbating to make love to your partner. Working out, painful. I, yes, there is something about not, it's not about immediate pleasures versus what's best for you later. That's not what I'm talking about. Why would, I, I don't want to work out today, but don't you want to feel better tomorrow? Why do you talk like that when you're, is that you're, I get, I get like passionate? You got demonstrative, even. Yeah. Demonstrative. That's You're like, why would I work out tomorrow? Or is that. Oh, I think I was is showing. That the tough think, Rick that you, you're, you don't want to come out and you're scared of being that powerful Rick? Like, why aren't you that powerful Rick all the time? Just in a bit, you're a powerful Rick. I'd like to see you come out of that shell more. That's all. It's a compliment. Thanks. So, one marshmallow now or two in an hour. But there's also, there's so much context. What if like, well, I don't want to eat that many sweets. What if uh, I want this now? Like there is a world where I would take a marshmallow. For example, if I could have one order of General Tso's chicken now or two in three hours, I'll, I don't, I'll just have the one now and then in three hours I'll you're, order something else. You're, you're going too, too deep into it. You're right, what you're saying. But the, the point is, because a, a child doesn't think of these things. So the these experiment of, yeah, I, you're right, but the experience kid, kids don't think like that. But yeah. that's the point. You're, you're talking like a kid. What I'm saying is burning the candle now doesn't mean if you would rather do this for your dinner date tonight or next week, then save it for that. But it's more about like, oh, I'm saving it. And you don't know what you're saving it for. I don't want to use this yet. I don't want to use this yet. No, enjoy it. Things are meant to be enjoyed. What if you toast the marshmallow over the candle? Now what? You just put a mustache on and off yourself and you didn't even realize. Back on, now it's off. Back on, now it's off. I don't want to do this anymore. It's off. But do you understand what I'm saying about like the idea of like doing something? I wasn't something? listening. No, I do understand. You're right. Get your hair surgery. Get your lip fillers. Get your Botox. Because let me tell you something else. No, two marshmallow, that one. <laughs> <laughs> 
swish. Do you watch the Great British Baking Show? Ooh. The Great British Baking Show? No, I don't get into baking shows. I'll tell you, if I want to see some delicious food, I watch My 600 Pound Life. Mm. You've never seen such delicious foods. These, and, and I know it's got to be tough. Why do you do Goldblum for a long time, but Trump for a short time? Look, look. Could you mix the I two together? Do, I could do it. Look, I could. But, 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 but. Uh, yeah, yes. What a total disaster. <laughs> okay. Look, I picture that's uh, how you. Bad, 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 bad. I'm picturing that uh, the T1000 uh, uh, um, uh, malfunctioning. Or, excuse me, the 100. Wait, the 1000 is Robert Patrick and the T100 is Schwarzenegger. Wait, I'm forgetting which one is which. No one cares. Okay, well, I'm picturing Schwarzenegger when he's at the end and he's. Uh, or, no, Robert Patrick at the end when he's turning into oh, all the yeah, things. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That. Yeah, yeah. You doing that. Yeah, 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 yeah
No, not many people have podcasts. You have a podcast and there's a few other ones. Uh, How many jokes do you have? How many jokes? Like joke jokes? You know what? Let me guess. 27. Yes. That's true. First base. So you wanting to not be in a relationship based off of what you believe conventional relationships are supposed to be versus you maybe being able to be in a relationship, but you get to build that with that person. If that's the case, how would you build it? Go. Well, yeah, I, I, I do want a relationship and I've been in relationships and I like them. Nice. Um, but mm, yeah, it'd have to be mm, where. Are you loading? Mm, Cut to spinning wheel, cut and and we're back and on me. Yeah, I think we could do your face could be the old Macintosh spinning wheel. Okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, I think if if I could have my parameters, like I explained before with the house. Remind me the word parameters. How Where does it derive in Latin? Uh, from param to square off. Param, Latin. To param to square is, off. Is to hold off. To square off. Right. To param. And then it turns. My param meters, it's in it's meters. A, yeah, you're squaring so off how metric much metric system, absolutely. how long, how big yes. it is. Thank you. So my param meters would be separate living areas, underground bunker, ping pong, foosball. You like that idea? Yes. Everybody wants this. I this When I was I a think. kid, I remember thinking it would be fun if my neighbor who didn't really, we weren't really friends and I always wanted to play with him and I'd play over his house sometimes. But I thought, how cool would it be? And I realized I wanted if we had an underground tunnel and then, in, you know, where our basements are, there's doors and then we can meet in the, and have our play area. But I realized we actually probably could have done that. He just didn't want to be friends with me. Otherwise, we probably could have built that. Oh. You know, I, I'm just going to counter my argument just to take the other side. Is there something you miss out by not just really being in a room together for decades? Being in a room together is fine if it's a choice and not an obligation. Let me give you an analogy. Fine, or it, you actually get a deeper level of intimacy, and that's good. No, no, because because you could, if it's forced and obligated, that level of intimacy will be uh, superficial. The resentment will get in the Not way of it. Forced, but would it be better? Would you be? Would you find a it deeper is level it of is intimacy? Forced. It is no? forced if you don't have the option of being in a different room. But if you're like, if you get someone who's like doesn't know the difference and. Or, or, or you, you just take two twins. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> two twins, yes. There's a batch of about one twin uh, is in the house. The other one has two houses. Does the twin who had to stay in a house with a woman for all those years have a better, deeper relationship than the twin who is in the separate house? Now, what's interesting, go. Th okay. they must be dating also twins. They are. So the twins are dating the twins that were yes. separated and they yes. don't know. Uh, it really, and then there's the whole nurture part of it. It really depends on the relationship. Some people want to be like this, you know, connected physically and emotionally all the time. Is that codependence? Do you have to be codependent to have that? Because I, I had that when I was younger. No. I had that when I was younger. I could do that. And then when you, you're alone for a while, you, you can't go back to that. I feel like it's, it's my grandparents, one of the sets of my grandparents, my grandfather wanted that and my grandmother would have been fine without it, but she loved him so much. And there was, my grandpa was obsessed with my grandma and my grandma just as much love for my grandpa, but it was different. It was, my grandpa was just like wanting to be right next to her. And she was a very, very independent. I'm fine with that. I love him. And I'm also okay being alone a little bit. Um, but she loved him so much that like, I may have said this on my pod before, and I love this. My grandpa, by the way, who was undiagnosed, just an autistic man. Yeah. And he used to make my grandma cereal, and he would make the cereal for both of them. And you put the cereal in, he would cut the banana, half the banana. The, 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 they were, you would think he used a ruler the way he cut these slices of banana. Put them on perfectly, both of them, the strawberry, everything. It was perfect. So each hmm. bite he could take like this, even in the liquid. It was just perfect. Huh. My grandma would take it, and then she would take it, and then she would just mix it up and eat it. My grandpa didn't care. He wanted to make it that way. And when asked, well, why, don't you, why do you even let him do that? Like, do, why not just, you know, make it yourself or tell him not to do that? And she said he loves making it that way mm -hmm. and it had nothing to do with her. Yeah. And made him feel good to make it that way. It would maybe even make him feel not as good if she made it herself or 
said, don't make it that way. So she didn't care at all. If it bothered His her. His love language was sliced bananas. <laughs> you need to add. I think that. Uh, oh, put that on Jackie's love language under the, when we do the list. Right. Back, back to Rick. Um, Does that annoy you when I take over the directing of this? Not at all. But what bothered me is the fact that you're giving my grandpa's love language, even in this joke, to somebody who isn't related to him. Like, like that could have, if we put that, you, add that's that on fine. mine. Yeah, add on yours. Yeah. yeah. I'm being serious. That felt, even though it's all a joke, putting it on Jackie's felt like a lie. Really? And it bothered me. Like I, that joke is, I don't like that joke. Oh, <laughs> you know, that bothered me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not at all because you suggested it. I love the I collaboration. It, but yeah, that's interesting. Anyway, that's interesting. Okay, so she put up with his sort of- It wasn't autistic. put up with. She loved it because there's a- Being- I think love, a big part of love is acceptance. And that doesn't just mean tolerating. Um, I was watching TV a couple of days ago on this couch. And my girlfriend called me out, which I've been called out before from this, because I watch TV like this. Mm -hmm. Chin gone, mouth open, eyes look like they're mountain stoned. And uh, and I asked, do you think it's cute or do you think it's gross? Oh, no. And uh, she goes, I used to look at it and be like, it's just an odd thing, but I think it's so cute now because like I know you. Oh, that's good. And I'm thinking like, oh, that's acceptance. I don't think that, I mean, it's such a small scale, obviously, thing. It's just silly that made me yeah, think But that it. thing does make, that adds up where there, you see that, the woman who had the eight kids in that interview where she's like, can you not breathe? <laughs> oh, dude. Like that happens where those Oof, little things will ruin Let's show that clip. She was probably, I'm sorry, can you stop breathing so loud, honey? He's like, <gasps> breathe quietly. So I consider them sick, anyone sick for, do you hear yourself breathing? Oh, that's just gross. Does anyone hear him breathing? I'm sorry for breathing. <laughs> That's brutal. And then the way she realized that she's in public, so she makes, in a, just say you're breathing, like, honey, honey, you know, like she makes it a joke. Yeah, so right. that's like her best behavior. Was that where they got the Karen haircut from her? And I'm just thinking, was that the first Karen haircut? That's been around since that video, I think. Oh my gosh. I just thought of that, yeah. So if you could be in a relationship with somebody, depends on their needs. You know, if somebody needs to be sleeping in the bed with you every night and or something that you can't give, it won't work. I could, I think I could, if I liked my, I could do every night with the- But what about person. when you have a late show and what if they have to wake up at seven in the morning? Uh, I think if I really liked them, I think it'd be okay. I, I, I think my bar is pretty low, but it, mm. I must be picky. But but like when I stop dating people, I, I feel like I'm I'm- I'm being reasonable. I, I haven't, I've dated a lot in the past few years, but Bragging. maybe, but I, I've broken up or whatever. I've not continued dating because of things that I think anyone would have, would have ended, would have stopped dating the person. Well, I don't think I've been too picky, but it's some people could think of dating as uh, as an activity and it might very well be, but is it a means to an end? Are you looking for the person or are you just trying to date? Because maybe you haven't found the person that you accept or that and or that accepts you. And that's why I'd like to actually make a dating profile for you right now. Because I have a lot. Most of my audience, it's my audience is, is 30 to 45 year old. Um, pretty, but not like, holy shit, women. Yeah, you don't want that. I did for a while. I wanted my audience to be like 25 to 35 fucking hot women. Yeah. But unfortunately what I realized is when women are really, 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 really hot, um, unless they grew up around Jewish people, they're not going to like this. Mm -hmm. And I've also noticed that women who are just like, who are pretty, um, people who are pretty, not just women, people who are pretty, but not too pretty and not disgusting. Mm. Um, usually have the best personalities. Ugly people and pretty people. Ugly people is usually they're they 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 they're just too busy rolling around in their own filth to come up with joke structure. And pretty women are and men are too busy like you know like playing with their titties and their dicks. Yeah, but it's too easy. People are laughing too easy. You don't really you don't really have that moment when you're twelve or thirteen. Like oh my god, I have to do something to get attention, or I have to you know I, I'm I'm not happy. I need to you sort of search for a way. 
you know, whether, uh, but like, yeah, I've, I've known a few. And really ugly people, they, it doesn't even matter if they have a personality, they invent things. Ugly people need to invent things. Mm. Um, medium, like not the best looking too. I guess, you know, once you get to know them, they're kind of good looking. They become funny because they needed that. And then the really good looking ones, they they just use the stuff that the ugly people invent and they How don't appreciate stupid it. it. By the way, it's it's millimeters, like a good looking person and someone who's disgusting. It's like millimeters. Your, your lips were a little bit bigger. Thing. What a, it just seems like it, it is the value we, we, we have. It's our value system. You can't ignore it. You know, you make more money, you get more love if you have like better bone structure. But what a dumb way to evolve. Well, let's put a side by side. Right now of us, let's look in a camera. We have, okay, we have you on the right and me on the left. Okay. Now let's do another split screen. So we have two of me identical. So there's Rick, Rick, Kyle, Kyle, right? They're identical. Now keep the far left ones as is. And now the ones next to us, let's give us a little bigger lips move our nose to be more symmetrical, whether it's to the left or the right. I forgot, Jawline. I forgot what it's called, this part, the distance between here and here. Yeah, mine's all off. Let's make that, uh, I think for for me, make this a little bit more, give us a little more space. For you, leave a great, yours is good, I think. Thanks. And uh, Jawline. Jawline, give you, you want a bigger jaw? I'm okay yeah, with my bring jaw my right hair. now. I need to bring this down and this down. So go like this, raise your, raise your eye, raise, all right, so wherever that top line is, that top wrinkle, that's where that the juvenile hairline is. So have it go to there. You don't want it too low. I mean, no. George Lopez looks great, but that's just that's natural for him. So have it go there. Okay, now give us both really long eyelashes. Now look at the difference. The one on the on the left, our authentic ones are funnier, but the ones next to it, they're going to have more love in their life. I don't know if that's true. I don't concede to that. Back to normal. I just think that people are going to you know want to give them the stuff that has been invented for cheaper. You can, there are, I've met a couple of very. Snap again. Snap again. Sorry. You sent us to a space. I, I always forget the power. Yeah. Um, who, who like very, I, I've known a very attractive woman who, who is very Bragging. cool and very funny, but she, she looked really weird for a while. Like in those important years. Of course. That's how we you know. Like they just look like a lot of guys that are good looking and funny now. Yeah. Chances are they were a fat kid. Yeah. Or a fat kid. Yeah. It's important. Who's this pretty girl? Get her on the phone. Ask her out. No, she's married. She's married. She's a kid. Jennifer Lopez. I don't know. Do you see the video of Jennifer Lopez goes back to her home? The house she grew up in. Yeah. Have you seen that video? I've it's seen amazing. all the videos. It's hilarious. He's just like, who? She's like, I used to live here. She's like, who are you? He's Jennifer. Jennifer who? He goes, Jennifer Lopez? And he goes, who's Jennifer Lopez? And she's like. You're you're not being fair. She doesn't act odd that they don't know her. No, she does. I disagree. I don't remember it that well. She it in a little bit, but she's like, she's there is like an indignant, like, what are you even saying, sir, right now? Um, she did go, have you seen the extended version? Go to the clip. Where at go ahead. the end of that, there's a version, I guess John Michael couldn't find it, um, but there's a version where she looks at the camera, she goes, I mean, I'm still Jenny from the block and nobody remembers who I am. Is it, are you serious? Mm hmm No. Oh. Because I can see that as a joke or saying that, but. What does your perfect relationship look like? In, like uh, a romantic relationship? Um, Definitely laugh, have fun. That's like most important. Like yeah. having a light friendship, friendship first, light, fun, travel well together. You're saying first class Poconos? I would love that. And then um, listening to each other. Right. Uh, I think that's it. How does she... Um what does she do, like, in the bedroom? Like, what does she do? Like, what kind of kinks do you nothing, have? And what kind of kinks do you want her to have? Nothing, nothing. You don't have any kinks? No, normal. You don't even like being tugged off? Normal. Like, the normal things. Missionary sex, um, a blowjob, but coming in a towel. I don't have to come in a towel. You don't have to? No. Where would you come? I mean... <laughs> somewhere else? Cut that out, put in the other thing, wipe back. <laughs> no, you don't have to do any of that. <laughs> um, yeah, just normal, normal. 
I don't know why people need to add to the, the greatest thing. It's like, what's the greatest gotta, thing? The, like sex is the greatest thing. And they really? get this, this hot fudge Sunday, and then someone's like, put some, you know, peanut butter. You don't whatever. understand. If it weren't for people wanting to both better and or have options, there would never be a cherry on top. And that is the cherry on top. What, like, like what, like peeing on someone or I don't know. Any, all that stuff. I'm like, isn't it not, it's not good enough? The best thing isn't good enough. If you? you eat one marshmallow, fuck it, two marshmallows every day, eventually you're going to either want something else or you're going to want to add chocolate and graham cracker. Okay, as a board, I'm like, geez, we got to shake this up. Yes, maybe. you're always going to have to. You're but, always going to have to. But, but that's not a kink. That's like a, a let's just do something. This no, is... but there are. But then, the, then there are ways of switching it up in some kink stuff. Not everything is being pissed and shit on. I mean, there could be, you know, there's role playing and there's role playing certain things. I want you to be, you know, uh, you know, a firewoman. And then your pussy me? is a hose to piss on me with. Um, yeah, I, I could see. I mean, as, as it goes down the road. OK, yeah. I, I wasn't thinking of that as like a kink. I thought you were saying what's something like immediately the person wants that the most. That's what I thought you were saying. I think even if you love General Tso's chicken, you're going to start with, you know, a vegetable egg roll. Sure. And yeah, you've got. Did uh, you know that most vegetable egg rolls, rest, no they don't vegetables. have, they're spring rolls, which are the thinner ones. The nice, crunchy, thick egg roll is really difficult to find without meat or shrimp in it. Damn it. I love egg rolls, but I want vegetable egg rolls. And you, there's a place in Cleveland that I know that has them. But, and they're the best egg rolls I've ever had. Hmm. The best egg rolls I've ever had. Hmm. I'll give a plug. Hoa, H O space W A H has the best vegetable egg roll I've ever had. And by the way, I've taken people to it. Hmm. They agree. Not oh, this is good. This is the best I've ever had. Okay, what's good about it? Well, for one, it's it's a proper looking egg roll. It's got people that eat it's egg proper. rolls that that with a shrimp or the chicken or the whatever the heck. You might not appreciate yeah, a good this. you know commercial. Our egg rolls are proper. You know, it's like. Well, there is. A spring roll is thin. It's the papery flake. The inside's usually a mush. It doesn't travel well. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm talking about. A spring roll. Think of a spring roll as your penis and an egg roll as mine. Yeah, I'm sure people like it. It's fine. But at a certain point, when you compare it, it's not proper. Yes. <laughs> I feel like you're one of people like me where you'll go get the same food like over and over. And I'll be like, I don't want to keep doing this. But then you find yourself keep doing it. Yeah, but it's not like I'm eating it every day, every meal. You know, like if I, but I'll do, like, I'll have the same restaurant, the same thing five days in a row. Yeah, I'll do that. But then yeah. sometimes I'll want something different. I want something to like, sure, you know, dress sure. up as a firewoman. When's the last time you did stand up? Uh, last week. Do you, is that your favorite thing to do? No, I like it. But you know what I like about it? Well, I love jokes. Ooh. I love it. It's not the audience. It's you the love jokes. jokes. Interesting. I, I, yeah. Hmm. No. Yeah. You have, a, you and I have, I think, different but complicated relationships with stand up. Yeah. It's like not quite right. The, mm -hmm. the medium's like, but, like, but that's because right. somebody told you a while ago not to use a guitar. And I mean that literally and as a metaphor. Yeah. You could make it just like a relationship. You could make what you do on stage anything you want multimedia i do now and i feel uncomfortable like i brought a guitar to the stand the other night jackie uses a guitar yeah her songs are great and i feel like once i'm into it it's good but it's like the bring the guitar and like bring it on stage and the bong hits something it's like bong and the audience is like what's gonna happen here buddy I'm i use a, a puppet of. i get it yeah it just but you're funny do your funny just a guitar. Uh, props are. Uh, it's just um, unexpected for the audience. I think they do like changing things up, but it. I don't know. I don't like it. I don't like bringing. Then learn shit. how to use a ukulele. Uh, <laughs> okay. Pull it out of your pants. I was thinking of thinking of getting a guitar. Just thought about it. You know, when I said ukulele, I was actually picturing an accordion. Uh, yeah. Uh, with key, you know, an accordion, but ukulele made much more sense because it's a smaller guitar. Yeah, but I think any of it is just. You could pull out a ukulele and strum it for a minute and be like, I'm just kidding. I'm not, you know, 
gay and or then whatever. You take the big guitar out. Yeah, and you're like, and you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. There's also they're not hooked up right at clubs. Like you, no one could hear the guitar. Like when I bring it, there's no. Well, you, you have another microphone that's right yeah, here. that never works. That never works. How does that not work? That's what people doesn't, do all the time. Doesn't work. Okay. Have you ever been with a man? No. Never even in college you didn't blow anybody? No, I've never even, like, my porn search is very hetero. I've never you, been. You, whenever you type in, you add at the end hetero. Just vagina. Or at the end, right? Vagina at the end. Have you ever used AI to show a man and a woman fucking, but to take out the penis? Yes. <laughs> when I don't I, know what that is. When I was a kid, uh, okay. when I was a kid, I remember like a kid, like 10. Um, I was, uh, I still like, you have crushes on girls and stuff. And I don't know how I knew what, remember what tits look like. I don't know if I knew from like breastfeeding or I saw something naked, but I knew tits and I thought nipples were gross. And I had a dream. There was this girl counselor at my, at a day camp that I went to. And she was naked. But in the dream, she was naked without a nipple. And Interesting. God, and nipples like, are the best thing. When I saw in my dream her nipple list, which is what I thought I wanted, you, then you I realized it. I think I need a nipple. Oh, and, you thought it looked and weird. And look at me now. Look at you now. Mr. Nipple, they call him. <laughs> you know, I saw down a girl's shirt when I was, I think, six years old or seven years old. She bent down? No, she was on a, sitting on a step or something in her... This is this girl is six years old or seven years old. Like we're seven. Are you talking about pedophilia right now? Well, Be yeah. Careful. I mean, I was seven though. Still, does pedophilia only mean if you're older? I mean, I was me and I was sexually attracted to a seven year old. But now how old are you? God, I don't even know. But old old enough to where that's inappropriate. Yeah. No, yeah. No, but I was seven at the time. By the way, was her name appropriate? Cut that out back to me. Cut that last thing back to me. Were you inappropriate? I was in. Oh, <laughs> I got it. I didn't get it before. I've been ashamed of myself. You now, know, listen. people say if you have to explain a joke, it's not funny. I say if you have to explain a joke, it's because the audience the guy didn't, doesn't not, get it, but I did it perfect. They're stupid. Well, I, I could see down, and, and she was completely flat. Ugh. She was seven. No, I know. This is a, but I'm, I'm just telling you, like. Do you know who this girl is? Could we see if she's still I flat? I don't. I, you know, that's a, I'm not, I don't know. I don't remember her name. Is and, she flat? But I remember just at that age being like attracted to women, but that's a seven-year-old. So, But were you thinking you wanted her tits to be bigger? No, I thought it was great. So are you attracted now to flat chested women? I like all, I like all of it. Yeah. You know, when I was younger, I thought I needed tits. Now all I know is I need somebody who's kind. But go on. You know what I like? Just being like hiding them makes them attractive to me. Like you shouldn't look at this is a, is a big part of interesting. Like, so they can be small, but if they're like, Hey, these now, are do you my mean precious. they're covered or they're actually hiding them? Like hiding them like, a, Oh, I never not like anger, but just like, Oh, these are special here. Don't look at these. So I then like when that. you see them, you that, feel special. Yeah. And that's why it's like when, when I date someone, I don't want them to just walk around nude. I don't, I don't say don't do it, but in my head, I'm like, I'd rather not. So I, I don't get used to them because yeah. then they become my boobs. Like eating the same restaurant like, over and over. Yes. They just become not a special thing, but then they have to ask them, but then they have to change their lifestyle and, and remember that. So I, I never, I've never said that to a, a, a that's why having your own room is important. There you go. There's another one. <sighs> <sighs> I'm going to not have this AC so cold. I'm freezing right now. Yeah, it works really well, which is good. It's Jersey, baby. I got to pee again. Are you going to pee? Do it. Let me do the you. Coming back in now. You got to come back in now. Five, six. By the way, I went to, uh, I looked at myself in the mirror and I had a, yeah. I had a seed. You, I had a a you got a seed in your tooth? We could edit it out the whole time. We'll do yeah, that. We'll take I had a out. seed in my teeth the whole time. Let's see now. It's still there, yeah, but I, I smushed it now. in. Yeah, there's tons. Get, go like this. Yeah, got them. Okay. Oh, hi, buddy. Watch. Oh, I thought he was going to do oh, it. Oh, come on. Push it. Push it. Wiggy, I love you. Wiggy, I like you. Come on. 
<laughs> Who should go? All right, how do we? What, what should we wrap this up with? Any topic you want to like? Bow? Like, is there something? Ooh. I feel very. It's good to talk about gratitude and things. You feel. Um, I think we all can just think about things we're grateful for. That's always a good thing, right? Yeah. What are you grateful for? Well, in no particular order, I could tell you something I was just thinking about. I was grateful for uh, last night. I went and I saw um, Gutenberg, the musical. Oh, the Steve Gutenberg musical about his life? <laughs> no, uh, it was uh, a musical about Gutenberg who invented the printing press. Oh. With Andrew Re Reynolds, am I saying it right? Mm. He uh, and Josh Gad, um, the originated Book of Mormon, an unbelievable Obviously, they're both unbelievable. I love Book of Mormon. Didn't see them in it. Um, but um, I didn't know much about, I didn't really know anything about that play. I just saw Josh Gad posted it. And I think he's fantastic. And then I saw that Andrew was in it. And I love going to shows. And I didn't want to look into it. I just wanted to go. I yeah. saw um, Crimson Tide, I think, in the theaters. And I had no idea what the movie was. I was young. But I remember when I saw it, I was like, whoa, this is incredible. And I've since... When I, if I decide I'm going to see something, I try not to look. I agree. Either. I do the same thing. But with musicals, sometimes it's nice to know the background so you could appreciate this, the, the, the lyrics of the songs a little bit more, but I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. And I got tickets to it that, uh, it was the most expensive tickets I've ever bought Can for a, a musical, much? uh, before fees in the each ticket. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's a, yeah. Uh, so it was like or something. Mm -hmm. I've never done that before. Um, I really wanted to go to it and uh, I bought the tickets mm -hmm. and I was like, this is insane that, oh, by the way, unbelievable show. I've never laughed out loud as a musical that much ever. Really? Unbelievable. Better than Book of Mormon? Um, I, I, I laughed out loud more than Book of Mormon. Okay. I can't say it's better than Book of Mormon. Um, What's it called? I'm oh, sorry, the music. Gutenberg. Gutenberg, right. right. They are, when you watch them, it's like stars. You know, mm -hmm. like they're the best at their craft. This is, they're funny. They sing. They're good actors. They get the genre. They understand how to work the audience. There was like people walked in late during the show and they acknowledged it in the perfect yeah. amount of time. They called it back later, but as an aside, just like they know what they're doing. Right, 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 right. And it was just so, and the it was so good. And I, uh, uh, I posted about it on my Insta story. My mom messaged me. She goes, how was it? And that's why I was saying gratitude because I was talking about how, like, a ma spending on a ticket to see a show for two hours, that's just not something I'm used to at the moment. Mm -hmm. And I was like, how, I wanted to go to the show, so I did. And it was just like, holy shit. I don't know if that's going to come across as yeah, tacky because no, it's about money, no, but it's but you, the truth. You have it is. means to do it, and you're grateful for that. Did you go with somebody or by yourself? My girlfriend and I went. Okay, well, that's nice. Yeah, and nice, yeah. and like, I don't like going to things much because you're around the people, not in a crazy Howard Hughes way, but just like I don't want to. But if the only way I'll go is if I could have decent seats. Good mm -hmm. seats. Yeah. So I don't go. And I, I've gone if they've been gifted or every now and then they've done stuff. But the, I don't know if it's because it just opened. This was more expensive. Um, but I'm like, I want to go to it. And the mm -hmm. only way I'll go to it is if I can have these nice seats, not next to everybody on both sides. And whew, nice. it was it was really, really good. I Now I'm regretting. I, I got tickets for my mom for her birthday coming up to see, see what Book of Mormon. It, have you seen it? No. It's incredible okay it's incredible i got seats in the front row and then i was like maybe that's bad is that bad like in a movie or is it I always, better i a... check i ch it depends on the stage the uh. book of mormon stage uh i'm forgetting the name of the theater you're seeing it here right yeah um it's uh it's a pretty big stage i mean you're in the front row it's gonna be awesome but uh if just for people at home if i had my druthers say four or five back yeah yeah but front row's gonna be incredible how much were those tickets not that bad how i much? mean they were like uh, I think total it was like so no, in mid the piece. I think it was a piece. Like that. Yeah, that that to me is expensive and makes sense. Great seats, one fifty, but <laughs> is crazy. Yeah, yeah. It feels like yeah. Book of Mormon is incredible. Yeah, I make, I, I I love those guys and their writing is yeah. so good. Um, the satire in that is very reminiscent of South Park, tr taking this absurd thing. Um, uh, changing the stakes in some or either minimizing or adding it, but treating it real. And it's like, it's, and the music is, it's like really good. I'm, I'm, I'm now thinking my mom's going to hate it. 
No. This is for her birthday. No, no, no. It's not, it's, you don't need to like South Park's humor to get this. Okay. I'll tell you this. She, she really laughs at every year she watches the Sweaty Balls sketch from SNL and she laughs really hard. Oh, then you so, should see Gutenberg. They oh. do a Sweaty Balls bit. What? I'm just joking. Oh. <laughs> but like, I feel South Parky humor is, goes beyond Sweaty Balls to a, a, a more uh, aggressive Mint. type oh. of humor, but. But she might like it. She likes she will sweaty like balls. It. She will like it. It's a musical. Yeah, she loves. Do you musicals. know? Do you are you? Do you know what it's musicals. about? Do you want me to tell you anything? I know. Let me tell you what it's about. You can tell me if I'm wrong. Okay. So there's two Mormon guys, and they're going on their um, their little mission, mm -hmm. and they go to an African country, and they get like kidnapped. They go, you know, kind of. But Gu Gutenberg is just like so silly. Oh, okay. They're so like silly. That. They're deconstructing what a musical is. And they're two guys that like, they're playing two guys that really want to be on Broadway. So they rented this, they rented a theater and uh, oh, we're going to try it out. that. Okay. It's not about that. That's just literally and figuratively the stage they, they are, they are setting. It's framed that way okay. as if it's like, this is the only show. Like, mm -hmm. this is one show. I don't know if this is a spoiler. I mean, this is the beginning of the show. But, like, fast forward if so. But, like, this is like a, you and I want to st uh, start a musical. Let's rent a theater and let's put it out. And then the audience comes. That's show one. Okay. So, they're, they're, so they don't have all the bells and whistles ready yet. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. You have to really work on it. But they, but they lean into that by doing the bells and whistles without them. And I don't want to tell you what those are now, but mm. it's really smart. It's really, is this, really is this well done. Is a new musical? It just came out. I haven't out. heard about it. Yeah. Okay. It's going to, I feel like musicals, like if it's at all a hit, it wins all of the Tonys. Mm. You know what I mean? You're talking like Bill Danza. Maher. <laughs> oh. All of the Tonys. You know, whenever there's like a hit musical, it gets all of them. That's, that's my uh, view of the Tonys. Would you seems. go on Bill Maher's podcast as Bill Maher if you wanted you to? Okay, people. He would never have me on. He does not. He specifically does not like me. And I've heard that from but he has more people, than one person. He has people on his show all the time that he may not like. He would never give me the, the platform. He would never. Well, here's your opportunity because he, wa I don't know if he watches this episode, but I know he sees my clips. Okay, people. So, but look to him and, and tell him as you, how you want to do it. New rule. Put Kyle on your show. Okay. I had a woman come up to me at the Whole Foods. And she said, I should tell you, I was on a private plane with Bill Maher. And I went up to him and I said, have you seen Kyle's impression of you? And he turned away from me. He wouldn't look at me or talk to me. And then I was told I had to go to the back of the plane for the rest of the flight. And I didn't get a tip. Swipe. A woman came up to me in Whole Foods. She said, I have to tell you, I was on a plane. I was a, a flight attendant on Bill Maher's plane and I went up to him, I said, have you seen Kyle Dunning's impression of you? And he wouldn't look at me. And then my boss made me s sit in the back of the plane. I didn't get a tip. I did? You did what? I talked about the same thing. I don't remember. <laughs> I, I, I feel like you bring out the worst stories in me. That's why that happens. Interesting. Why I tell you the same stories. And are you so you, you're you choosing to repeat bring out bad stories? The worst ones. Yes. I like the stories. Do you? Mm hmm. You don't act like it. All What's right. happening? Tell me again about the plane thing. Split screen, please. This lady was on a plane and, and this guy had a heart attack and she gave him mouth to mouth, the whole thing, and he died. And that guy was Bill Maher. Bill Maher died on a plane? Yeah. He's been fine now. <laughs> okay. I was trying to make it more interesting. Here, point is this. Um, well, we're, we started with things we're grateful for, and we got somehow to Bill Maher. Well, I'm grateful well, for I'm new rules. Grateful for, I'm grateful for. Yeah. I love new rules. New rule. Okay, people. They're kind of, uh, what are they? They don't, they're not like rules sometimes. He'll be like, new rule. Can we stop putting cheese in pizza? Like, it's the, not a rule. The last it, segment of new rules is is what it's all about. Nobody would care to go to fireworks if there was no grand finale. Yeah, and that's what the last rule. Yeah, no, I like I like new rules. It's a good little format. Yeah, we'll be right back. <laughs> 
Oof, man, there's some huge shit. Whoa, what's this? Wow, this is really cute. Should I try it on? I'll try it, for size. So cute. I think that this fits. It's a small cutting. I'm Kevin Bacon's daughter, and I take huge shits. Okay, great. And we're back. Do you have any merch that you want to plug? Uh, I have merch, um, but no, I, I don't think anyone's going to want my merch. Um, that's good merch. I, I, I don't have, think anybody's going to want my merch. Yeah. <laughs> I have, I think go to Kyle, blah, 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 blah. There's like, I, I do a character called Wendell and I have like a Wendell mug that sells. Oh, will you play a mug? It's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a, yeah. Will I play one? What do you mean? I'm being a mug. What do I mean? I'm Wendell the mug. Um, and then like there's like a Craig t-shirt that kind of I do a character named Craig. But I, I don't really push it. Craig where he's like. What's going on you guys? Yeah. There's one of those shirts. I knew about Craig. Yeah. Yeah. Um, when I found out that you were Jackie's ex when Jackie and I were dating and she explained uh, like who you were mm-hmm. like from the thing. And there's that. I'm like, oh, that guy. Mm. Yeah, that show um, changed your life. No, do you think you would have ever dated Sarah Silverman if not for that show? Yeah, I don't think she's aware of that show. the The thing about it, it was like but was, the butterfly effect. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. But they, they, there was no lead up. Like, I, I want to redo the the scenes because, like, they kind of knew what the scene was about, but. You'd, you'd get there and you'd, you'd sit down and there'd be cameras all set up and they'd be like, it's your birthday and, and there's like a, a nail file on the cake and then they'd start rolling the cameras. You know, oh, like there was I, no I, script? I, no, they would have like a, a little script of like, right. you, know, you know, Craig gets a cake from blah, blah, blah. It'd be just be a little-, little And why a nail sentences. file? Was it like this escape from jail well, or that's something? That's the thing. I, oh, I guess some escape. Like, like in your head, you're like going, why is that? And then- and they start rolling cameras. And there's something fun about that. There's something mm-hmm. like, I want control. I want more control over this everything. This is why you're going to need to produce your own podcast. Yes, yes, yes. Who should I do a podcast with? I need a partner who uh, like I, I connect with. And, I like, think you laughs. need a black person. I really do. Do you know any black women that, do, are there any black women that you know that you like? Uh, name, yeah. F- name five black women that you like. That's so <laughs> passive aggressive. <laughs> I love Marina Franklin. You know Marina? She's hilarious. Um, I want to like a good laugher be good. Also, they should have like a social media following. <laughs> because then you get Now you then, sound like big studio. But then to, you get together and then it, 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 it gets, you know, more people. Are you allowed to do a Jewish voice? I don't know. Can I hear you do Jewish Trump? It's so cold in here. It's so cold. Somebody get me a sweater. <laughs> get Trump uh, the greatest sweater in the universe. Is that can Jewish because a, it's complaining? Can you put a yarmulke on top of my head when I did that? No. No. Okay. Okay. What are you doing the rest of the day? Well, I think I'm going to get some marshmallows and General's chicken. I'm not going to lie to you. <laughs> Snap us back. Snap us back. Sorry. <laughs> um, I got some, uh, last night I got some uh, pastrami sandwich and uh, some potato pancakes and some applesauce. I got half of it in here. I'm going to heat that up as soon as mm, you leave. That's all you're thinking about right now. I don't know what to do with myself. Do you have that problem? And it's a good problem. Yeah, I wouldn't call that a problem. It is a good problem. Like right now I'm like, hmm, I just shot a special that I paid for, but I don't think I'm going to release it. Who else is going to pay for it? Netflix. Why would Netflix pay for your special? So they then they'd own it. Why would they want to own it? So they can make money. So if they can make money, how come you don't want to make the money? Well, well, Rick, I don't have the uh, platform. Well, of Netflix. find a black woman with a big following who thinks you're funny. Start a podcast with her. Next thing you know, you might be a redneck. I don't know. 
I, I just feel like... Do you want to put your special on my channel because I have such a big following compared to you? You probably have way more YouTube. Uh, do you have a big YouTube's following? It's like 400,000 on YouTube. Yeah, yours is bigger than mine. But um, yeah, they say you go, you can put on YouTube and then that's, you own it and then you can get, if you get, if I knew I'd get like millions of views, I would do it on YouTube and, and forget Netflix. It still doesn't pay that much. And no, but you get, when you go on the road, if you get right. millions of views, you could like blah, blah, blah. And then you get clips. But the Netflix thing has more cachet. Yeah, what you're talking about is like going on late night instead of Rogan. Like late night gets mm -hmm. one fifth the amount of views as a Rogan episode, but there's cachet with there's late night. There's cachet. And then, oh, I, my Netflix special's coming out. You could say that to ladies. You know what I mean? Are you interested in ladies liking you for Netflix that's special? That's all I care about. Or accepting you for who you are? Special. Interesting. Maybe that's part of the problem. I don't think so. How could that be a problem? You okay? You gonna sneeze? <laughs> okay, okay. Add sneeze. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, but I paid for the special. I shot at Joe Rogan's club actually in Austin. Shout out to the mothership. And I did not. Put I was like, earlier. as I was doing, it, I'm like, mm, that punchline could be better. As I was doing it, voice over it. That's why when you shoot a special, you should always get audience shots behind. The comedian, so you could then change what it Ooh, is while you're you, doing it. Could you look at it? I'm going to cut it down. I'll give you money. Don't worry. I know that's your thinking. And just. <laughs> is that an anti Semitic remark? It felt it, but it wasn't. But I know it felt that way. I know it did. If all I was doing this for was money, then I would be doing this a lot different. What would you do? I could be making way more money on this podcast if I was just doing it for the money. Easily. There are so many of my episodes are demonetized or limited ads because oh, of I some, know. something that we could take out that we choose not. Sometimes that happens and I don't know why. A lot of times it happens like, no, I want that part funny. I want that thing in there. I want this or there. I would argue you're still doing that for money. Not money, money, but, but to get more followers to a better show. Ultimately, long form, I want this, long game. I want this to be the best. Yes, absolutely. Two marshmallows. I want the two marshmallows. Still but, for marshmallows though. Uh, yeah. It is still but for marshmallows. marshmallows are money. But no, no, but marshmallows isn't money. Marshmallows, marshmallows is motivation. That's why they both share M's. Oh, back to what we're talking about. Well, you're special. Yeah. You want me to help punch it up after the fact? You probably you might have some good ideas of like cut to outer space. Who's, who's editing? Know. Who's editing your special? Um, these guys. Uh, I don't know them that well, but um, well, listen, your next special then, um, yeah. John Michael, who edits this, is great. And I want him to get more, and he wants to do more uh, narrative stuff and specials, and he's very, very good. Um, he watches specials all the time. Uh, he's big into comedy. He and I get into okay. joke, math, intention conversations for hours at a time. Um, yeah, maybe I'll have him take a pass. I, I just, but I could too. Yeah. How much? Will you buy me uh, two tickets to any Broadway show I want four rows back? Yeah. Every day for the rest of uh, the year, if today's J December thirtieth. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Yes. So you give a bucks. Yes, I would. Yeah. How much did you spend on your special? Fifteen thousand. Um, so thousand almost after me. Ugh, but I wouldn't do it for money. You know, know what I would do it I for? Know. Love directing credit. If I like the way it was directed. Directing? You're gonna get directing by I'm just gonna... punching up it? Is it special? Who directed it? Me. Then you could have a credit. I mean, does a special need a director? I feel like a special doesn't need a director. Everything needs a director. It doesn't have to be the non-comedian. It could be the person doing it, but everything, needs, there's so much that's necessary. But the director, okay, if the director is a writer, then yes, and they have creative ideas, but a director with like cameras, like you, you just have to cover the thing. Well, maybe that's why Netflix doesn't want it. The reason why Netflix wants my who special said, who is said because Net I have lots who, of drones. Who, who, said, who said Netflix didn't want it? Oh, how come let Netflix didn't pay for it? I didn't give it to them yet. I didn't. Show oh, it you're to gonna them. sell it to them? I I think I need to redo it. I need to, to write more and redo it. I think. That's that's funny. That's very you. Yeah, it is. That's I very put you. very little out. You know, well, why don't you put it out on? Uh, why don't we give it to me that I could put out on my Patreon so people could see it? Just my Patreon members, and they could give notes and tell you what they think. My Patreon members get to see something that other people can't see, and then you get feedback from people who are my audience. Is I argue I would argue that not necessarily the smartest, but there is no audience smarter than mine. Okay. 
maybe I do want feedback. I'm a very uh, pro feedback person. I feel like stand up especially gets the least people seek out the least help because they have this, you know, pride about their stand up and, and it is cool. They do it all themselves. But but also if it's your voice, they don't know it well enough. What do you mean? It would be funnier if is an opinion. Oh, comedy is subjective. Kind of. Mm. But I, in my gut, I would know like, oh yeah, that is, that's a good Right, point. so you want somebody to basically hold a mirror to you. Yeah, like I was thinking that, but I pushed it down. Right, fair. That makes sense. Yeah. I'll watch it. I want to do a special where, well, yeah, I, I want to do like a, a different thing than I, I, there's not enough room on that stage for what I wanted to do. I Like I want a full piano, like a grand piano. Um. Yeah, like your mother's mother's piano. Yes. Yes. Or you could have a great grand piano if it's your mother's mother's mother. Mm -hmm. Yes. Did we solve anything today? Yeah. I know what I'm going to eat when we're done. I'll podcast with you every time I'm here and anytime you're in LA. How often are you here? Often. Why do you come here often? Do you come here often? Do you guys, if you know if you cough if you cough often and a cough and they'll carry you often. Hmm. How? Wh why do you come here often? What what brings you to New York? Do you know where we are right now? You were in Jersey City. Do you know whose place this is? Your girlfriend's. So she lives here. Yeah. You, you buy coastal relationship. Well, I mean, I prefer women, but yes. Yeah, you're open minded. I'm bi coastal. Okay, so. That's probably the best of both worlds because you kind of do have it's the house, guys have dicks, two houses. But also, what's that? We you do have kind of two houses. Yeah. The basement connection though is like two thousand miles away. Yeah, that's why I want to get one of those um, Elon Musk tunnels. Yeah, with a hyper train. So, yeah. are you guys gonna be talking about? You have to talk about this. Are you talking about moving to one or committing to one coast or no? What does this rhyme with? Some nov core ishness. Some people never correlate the two dishes. <laughs> None of your business. No, I got it. I got it. I was. What do you want to plug? You want to plug? Uh, you want to plug my Patreon? Patreon.com slash take your shoes off. Go to patreon.com uh, take, take, shoe, take your shoes off. Take your shoes off. We have tons of exclusive episodes. So much there. Full episodes with Melissa Via Senor, Adam Ray, Jamar That's Neighbors, a, a John with. DeWalt, solo episodes with just me. But they don't have to watch those. They should. There's be we do something called BTS, which is not just behind the scenes, it's also between the snaps. Extended endings. I do extended endings. Okay. But I tell I let I make sure the guest knows, hey, uh, we're done with the episode, but like the next half hour is just gonna be That's the Patreon. smart. That's good. As business. a matter of fact, why don't we head on? Why don't we head on over? If you want to watch, Bill Maher does it with what's it called? You know, at the end of. Oh yeah, it's Club Random. No, no, but like at the end of his show. Oh, like the you can see us on online. YouTube. Yeah. Okay. So we'll do people. this now. We, would you mind staying for a little bit while I heat up my sandwich and entertain my patrons? Um, feels like I'll give you. Uh, I'll watch your special. I'll give you notes for free. I'm not gonna charge you. I don't know. I gotta ask. But you're going to have to, any note I give you, you're going to have to take. I will put, uh, yes, I will. I will do whatever you say without question. <laughs> you could ask questions. I won't. All I right. got to get a setup like this. All right, we'll go over to Patreon. Oh, no, hold on. Well, let's, let's, is there anything you want to plug? KyleDunnigan.com. You know, it's a Save really it great place. It's a really great place to go. Oh, KyleDunnigan.com? Yeah. It's now, where's so it located? Great. New York? Uh, it's in, it's one of the boroughs. Yes. Jim. Yeah. Jim Speaking Burrows. of Jim Burroughs, I just rewatched the comeback. Have you seen that? No. With Lisa Kudrow? No. Season one, good. 2005, season two, 10 years later, 2015. Brilliant. Yeah, hair is really good. Love. Um, but listen, you know, you guys like these animations. You guys like these edits. You guys like the sound quality, the mix. You guys like the time. You guys like the, 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 uh, the hosting of, of getting you your Uber back and, all of it comes into taking this podcast. Sure, watch for free and enjoy and like and comment. But if you want to support, if you head on over, get a, a nice a hat or or just the Patreon where you're going to get lots of extra footage and mm -hmm. including of which will be an extended 
episode where we really cut loose. All right. Great stuff. Everything we just said, but what's about to come is going to be have swear words in it. Okay. All right. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Hey, theme music. Now, we can keep this in the episode too. (laughs) But now, uh, now the episode's going to end and now the people in the episode are going to see the the suggested episodes. But now, the people who are on Patreon aren't going to see, they're going to see the title card, but now it's going to dissolve into the episode. 